Hey guys, so peanut butter sandwiches are a staple in our house, especially for my picky eater, Avery. Another day, another peanut butter and jelly sandwich. No, that's my favorite. <laughs> and when I started to realize how much peanut butter we were consuming, I looked at labels and I realized the only way to make sure I was getting the best peanut butter was to make it myself. I'm Meg and I'm passionate about finding ways to make life with kids easier in the kitchen. So here's what you'll need. Roasted peanuts, honey, peanut oil, and salt. All right, so here's the lowdown on peanut butter. There's three different types. There's the commercially made stuff, there's natural, and there's organic. Commercially made peanut butter has a lot of additives, so it has sugar, different types of oils that you might not be a huge fan of. Natural peanut butter isn't necessarily regulated, so there could still be some pesticides. And organic peanuts are grown without the use of pesticides, but pretty much no matter what type of peanut you're using, it's susceptible to a mold that can prove harmful to your family. So the one type of peanut that I recommend is a Valencia peanut because it's grown in in dry climate that's not as susceptible to that mold. So today I'm using my roasted nuts. So I found roasted nuts as opposed to just raw nuts, but if all you can find is raw nuts, you can simply pop them in your oven to heat them up a little bit. Next I'm gonna add my honey, and this is optional, but I do think it adds a little bit of sweetness that the kids like. Usually I'm making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, so I don't want it to be too sweet. And now I'm just gonna add a sprinkle of kosher salt, and that really helps bring out the flavor. All right, so I'm gonna put my top on and blend for a little bit before I add my oil. Homemade peanut butter can be kind of gritty, and the goal is to make it as smooth as possible, which is why I'm adding a little bit of oil, but it is optional. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start my food processor and then slowly drizzle in. You really wanna be patient with your peanut butter and process it until it's smooth. That may require that you scrape down and reprocess up to five times. So once your peanut butter is all processed, you're gonna store it in an airtight container. So I'm using my mason jars, because you guys know I'm obsessed with them. All right, so that is my peanut butter. It looks and smells delicious. You can store it in the refrigerator if it takes you a while to consume it. That way it won't go rancid, but we consume ours very quickly, and I think it's a lot easier to spread at room temperature. So I hope you guys give this peanut butter recipe a try, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.